I'm so proud of myself. I still got homework to do after this, too. Yo, I slacked off all day yesterday. I didn't do shit. I was like, mm, my well, time's going to be late. I had, no, because yesterday was Nehemiah's Mike birthday. Failed. So I was taking care of all that. Three. But I got all A's still so far. That's good. I'm taking like technically six classes. Oh, the cheeks lose. Oh. Oh, my bad, my bad. So I hope the Chiefs lose. You say you're bad, and then you said it again. Because he meant it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. But to reiterate what I just said. <laughs> I hope they lose. I hope they lose. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. And I love my homeboy. But... Bro, I need Amy, him to turned into, Amy turned into a... Uh, a Chiefs fan just because of him. He's no, he's nice. He's not. No, no, he's, no. Because she yeah. thinks he's fine as hell. Oh, okay. She likes. Me Always calls her. That's her baby. <laughs> I'm like, you know, he's like, what? Amy's 32 now. He's 24. Uh, Once <laughs> you get past like 21, it don't matter at that point. Once you get past 21. 21. <laughs> <laughs> You really don't have to be that eighty year old with a twenty one. Right. Never, never in my life. I don't have the patience for eight. <laughs> Women my my age. What makes you think I'm gonna go for something like sixty years younger? I jump off a roof. When I was in California, I used to get my nails done at this one place and a chick who owned the place her name was V. Very pretty Vietnamese woman. And this old Mexican guy would always come in, he was like sixty something. He'd always come in, barely spoke English. She barely spoke English, but he knew he wanted some Vietnamese tail. So he would give her <laughs> gifts. He would do this. He would ask her on dates and stuff. Eventually, she was like, okay. She yeah. ended up marrying that dude. He was like 66. And she was 26. He, <laughs> oh, he, told he had a up. heart attack. He had a heart attack. She said, well, she was doing my nails at the time. So, oh, yeah, he had a heart attack. And I told him I was his daughter so I could go with him in the ambulance. <laughs> I was like... Well, it's believable, I guess. Yeah, yeah I guess. But yeah, he, he I'm like, well, y'all, y'all baby's going to be trilingual. Man. Well, yeah. He put in the work, though. He sure Might sure did. Care. Might want to be careful. Mm-hmm. Gave her a big old diamond ring. Oh, yeah. He yeah. still tore it up, though. Oh, for sure. And she, she would say, she, oh, yeah, he liked to eat. He liked to eat a lot. I said, okay, damn, oh, me. Okay. All right. Okay, me. The Lee. All right. Keeping it stop. She was giving that. She was giving that beef lo mein. <laughs> beef lo mein for you. <laughs> Keeping that grocery stock. Even that compound chicken, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny, funny. I wonder if he's still alive. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I don't know. People good. living longer nowadays. He might be a hundred. They do. He might be still rocking. This was like 2012. Eight years ago? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah he's probably mm-hmm. still kicking. Yeah, because that, that was his first heart attack. He's straight. <laughs> Unless he's... that wasn't. Yeah. Because normally the more he you got have... heart attack. Well, I was, going, I was about to go to the Viagra joke, but I, I didn't know if he died or not. <laughs> hey, if he died or not before I, you know, dropped them bars. I ain't going to be disrespectful. You know? <laughs> I dropped them bars. <laughs> Had one in the tuck, you know. That's the first thing he popped on. Line. <laughs> Shut yeah. it off. Shut it off. Yo, look how sticky and crystally. Can you see all the crystally yeah. stickiness? Yeah. Would you? What? What strain it's is that? Sticky as fuck. This one is Bruce Banner. That's mm-hmm. a hybrid. Uh, indica dominant. Okay. Yeah, and then I got White Widow, and I got um Gelato OG, but my Gelato OG didn't do well. Oh. So so what you just trim I mean them I and harvested them back in? Yeah. What are you talking about? No, these are they're, they're cut for good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do they keep growing? They don't. You only get one shot out of the plant. Mm-hmm. Once they're uh, done, you're they're done. Yeah. Uh so that's how big you're gonna get them. That's it. Well, now when I do because I do these outside, so mm-hmm. I'm bound by the lights of nature and you know shit yeah so but when you do indoor grows when you do um have a tent and shit you can veg a plant out as long as you want you can get it as big as you want you can veg it until you don't want to veg it no more 
and that's how you you can just keep like you'll just so, keep growing and getting bigger and bigger let's not let's not skip over that gelato og part so what did you do so is it no i didn't do anything it's, i think it was just the genetics because they were all mm-hmm. in the same grow environment but the mm-hmm. gelato was just long and spindly doesn't have as many buds on it as these ones do I was like, you're just going to be an asshole, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Okay, well. Yeah. Let's it's always a gelato, man. It's like it's like the you ring know? of power. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you just don't you like bitch. to be mixed. Yeah. You bitch. It's just one of those was... things. Like, once you get it, it's like, yes. Yeah. But, I mean, there's, there's butt on there. There's not a lot of trichomes on it, so I think it's going to be some straight Reggie for mm-hmm. the gelato. But, I mean, these ones are beautiful. Like, yeah. I, a little jeweler's loop, you know. You might have to like, the bathroom light. And see all the little, all the little things. Just, just blind us. Don't worry. Sorry, my it bad. Look, it looks real well. When I smoke, I can barely see what the fuck going on anyway. I just see. <laughs> I be pointing in different directions and shit. It's just I'm all over the place. Speaking of, what? I, I'm gonna propose a toast to, to Tony's oh, toast. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cause good, cause this little joint, this little uh, teeny tiny blunt that I'm about to smoke, is the last of the weed that I have. So I'm very happy that I harvested this now. Hmm. Let me know that shit is fire. Oh, I will. I will definitely do a review. Uh, <laughs> Still <don't> a <coughs> review. You should do it on the podcast. <laughs> I, I definitely will do that as well. Oh fuck! I'm just, I'm, I'm just waiting to, uh, to, oh never mind, cause Janelle can put them on. To start the podcast to see. What? Now that you're up, you can put them on the stool. No, because if you, because hey, 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 hey. I was waiting to start the podcast after. Yeah. If you didn't make it. Yeah. Oh, uh, you should hear Jariah. Yeah. You know, oh, I'm on her side. I'm on her. Nah, I'm on her side. I'm about to. Be, I'm about to see him in a couple of days. I'm on your side, Janelle. Oh, no, never mind. He's on your side. Yeah. <laughs> that was fast. Uh-uh. I see her in action. Rebellion. I see her in action. <laughs> yep. Mm. Not one person. Tell him I said he better be here this weekend, too. I ain't playing with him no more. You heard her? Just like I said. What Just I like she said. What'd she say? She said, she said, you better be here this weekend. What'd she say? She said, she said, you better be here this weekend. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm going to be there. You better be here this weekend. I ain't playing playing with you no more. I am for real. No cap. I am for real. No cap. I know when your voice go out that high, it's hard to believe. Yeah, it'd be some bullshit coming. It'd be some bullshit coming. Now I'm telling the truth though. (laughs) When it gets like, when I hit that fall set of us, you know, a lot about to come out somewhere, you know, but I'm telling the truth this time. I'm telling the truth. This time. Mm -hmm. Even though that fall set was very real. It was. It was like the dream. All right, now we'll see. I will be there. And a bra, and a <laughs> That's what he said. He said, and a bra, and a bra. I will he'll be there. I'm trying to debate if I'm going to do it like Wednesday. Uh, I'm probably going to wait till like Wednesday. If it is going to be Wednesday, it's going to be like Wednesday evening. Because I got to go That's pick fun. up some extras, extras. That's fine. So. That's not, uh, <laughs> let me know what I owe you for the Blue Dream. I got you. Matter of fact, let me hit the new youngin up. Be fire. <clears throat> and then, um, what was I say? Yeah. He, he's so a youngin? We... Yeah, my new one. My new one. Yeah. I finally linked up you the know, old one. Do you ever yeah, feel weird one. buying weed from people who are younger than you? Hmm. Uh, Not really until, like, I noticed, like, the neighborhood I was pulled up to. Like, it was, like, at the dawn. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh-huh. out, so I ain't gonna worry more blow up a spot, but I was sitting there just like, <clears throat> can I'm well aware that I'm a 30 year old nigga just sitting in this nice ass <laughs> car in, in, in a fucking dormitory outside on the street, and it's like, looking like a creeper, <laughs> just chilling with, with the AC on, just like life is good. They'd be like, he's either here for a chick, which I tried to get that vibe off, you know what I'm saying, because I didn't want to blow up the spot because he seemed a little scary, but. It do seem a little that's, odd, though. That's when you odd. switch it up. Be like, no, my boyfriend. Don't you dare shoot switch the TV. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Can't do that. Not here. even in play play. Not if even you in shoot play the play. TV and break it, <clears throat> not even grandma can save you. 
Oh, he, he grandma grandma. got it. Oh, man. Not even grandma. Not even grandma. So not even mommy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm. Oh, you Don't ain't worry. got no nipple. <laughs> That's why you need me there. He just needs a male reinforcement. <clears throat> you just said you're on her side. How you gonna reinforce her there? You because I know I gotta eat away. eventually. <laughs> eventually, I gotta eat, and I can't sit there and be no bum ass nigga. You just sitting there talking shit, and then I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? Like I love Waffle House, but I'm not gonna eat that shit every day. You know what I'm saying? I got I love Waffle House, but. <clears throat> I love it, and they sweet tea is fire, and I will be going by there more than yeah. once. You know how long it took me to go back to Waffle House? A long a time. Because when I was in, where the fuck was I? North Carolina. Oh. I was sitting. I was at the Waffle House, and the lady was talking. The 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 waitress, and like spit was just accumulating in the corner of her mouth. You know, she had no lips, so that's what happened. Oh. So she had this like this big white ball of spit, and then she said pancakes, and it went whoosh, and landed boop right on my lip. I was like. Dang, what you was know, the food fired up? Dude, no, I didn't. I was so disgusted after that. You left? Like, that food was no, bad. I didn't leave. That but, like, I was mad you said that. And I scrubbed <laughs> my, and I scrubbed my mouth because, you know, your first instinct is to lick your lips. I was like, Yeah. Oh, man. It was, that food it was it grossed me out forever. It's banging. Forever grossed me you gotta out. You got to see roaches. It's got to be some lady in there who, like, she's been the cafeteria lady for 90 years. And that's exactly what she looked like. Old white lady. Fire. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. It's fire. The food was banging. The food was banging. If it looked clean and, like, it's, like, younger people there and shit like that, it's, like, they expect tips and shit. And it's, just like. They yeah. expect tips and shit? Yeah, they expect tips and don't put season on their shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? They don't do the grits right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, where's the butter? <clears throat> you don't eat grits. Well, he's from Florida, so. Florida is all that's his own planet. Florida's his own planet. They just like, do their own thing. Born in born in Boston, raised in Florida. Raised in Florida. So from Boston to Florida, you didn't encounter no grits. And plus any type of any type of <clears throat> breakfast stuff like that, it was always Puerto Rican breakfast. So like, like crema? crema, crema, maicena. Oh, so you you were like fuck grits. With crema up, though. You were like grits then. You know, you've had them before, yeah? What, grits? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I know I tried them somewhere that it turned me off. Because I'm like, yeah, that's, that's probably what, what it was. I, that's probably. not what I thought it was. Like it was bland. Was, no, yeah. no salt, pepper, no butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, salt, pepper, you butter. Y'all do the shrimp. sugar shit? I'll so I throw all of it in there. I say, I, sugar. I, I, I like to leave it. I do Sometimes, sugar. It depends. Sugar, salt, pepper, butter, mm -hmm. and then I'll throw some cheese in there and some shrimp. Yes, yes. Done, done. Oh, like and it. if I'm feeling really, really fat, I'll throw two pieces of bacon right in the middle of the bowl. Oh, bacon! I'll go never gross. That way, I get the all star just for that. People be like, "Why are you doing that?" I was like, "I'm putting, about to put the bacon with some grits. I'm about to throw this butter in this bitch. Salt and pepper. I'm about to salt." I don't. I don't trust grits from grits from restaurants though. I'm always like it's never enough. Like something's always off with grits they from restaurants. Like, I've never had good grits know, from restaurants. They they using like oatmeal mix and trying to like it seems weird. I don't know what it is. Like yeah. <clears throat> I went to this one place. It was like I don't know, it was like Tennessee or somewhere. Somewhere I was driving. And I went to the Waffle House, whatever did the grits, and I was like, yo, this is oatmeal. And she was like, No, this is this is grits. I was like, fam. Like, I, was, like, I know what oatmeal is. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. Like uh, you know what I'm saying? I've had both. <clears throat> there have been times I had oatmeal like dinners, like those were actual meals. Like I And then they try to lie to you. Like Yeah, it's like fam. Like <laughs> look at this. Look how thick these are. Look at these little thingies, they're thick. Grits are like kind of like rice little thingies, you know? It's yeah, like, they're little pellet thingies. Yeah, little small things. So one bed there, talked to the manager, and the manager was like, Oh, sorry, you know, we were out of grits. Y'all could have just said that. No, you couldn't, you just gonna try to and then tell me it's up. Uh, it happens to me. Give me all my money back, and you ain't getting no tip. I don't. Mm -mm, I don't like I'm that. Glad shit. you said I that. Can't stand that. This I is can't, gonna be I a can't. clip. This is gonna be a clip. Real quick, because when I first got to Hawaii, right? Now you tell mm -hmm. that Tony, you part, you probably understand where I'm at. So mm -hmm. everybody, including my mom, everybody, they think I'm petty for this. They think it's funny. So when I first got there, Hawaii, I didn't know they had sweet tea was available anywhere. So I was struggling. You know what I'm saying? I was there for like a couple mm -hmm. weeks. 
I was bugging out. I had my spot. <clears throat> you don't have my car or whatever. But it was I was tripping because I needed sweet tea. So I was like, it was a McDonald's in Wahiwa, which was the town up for where I used to live at. So I went there and I was like, all right, let me try it. Because I've been scared, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really been eating. I haven't been eating out because I was like, I didn't really know. You know me, I didn't really know much about Hawaii. So I fucking get to the McDonald's. I finally go break down and do it. <clears throat> so I see the menu. It looks kind of different, but I was like, whatever. I see the tea. So, you know, I get my usual, you know, I'm a chicken. You know what I'm saying? Get my McDouble, you know, my little fries, no salt, and the sweet tea. She said, all right, cool. No salt? Yeah, yeah, because you got to get them fresh. See, if you say if you, if you just say regular fries, it can, you can get whatever. Trust me, I was a fry guy at McDonald's. Got it, got it. Okay, cool. I was, I was getting no salt. You know, so. <laughs> There's secrets. There's secrets. Just throw some in there. Even if you get like a McDouble, you can say like, I was like, no pickles, no onions. So I know it's going to be fresh. It's the other ones that have been sitting there for a while. And they just throw it out there real quick. So, Word. So anyway, I pull up, I get it. I drank it. I'm like, ugh, can you let me get you a drink first? So I'm like, ma'am, where's the sweet tea? It's supposed to be peach tea. She was like, sir, we don't have uh, sweet tea. I was like, yes, you did, because that's what I ordered. She was like, all we had was peach tea. And I was like, then why don't you tell me that? When I said, hey, and a large sweet tea, you said, okay, you gave me the price, and told me to pull it to the window. She was like, no, I thought you ordered tea. I said, I did. Sweet tea, not peach tea. That's a, two different sounds at the beginning of those words. You know what I'm saying? Sweet right. Right. So you know, I'm sitting there arguing with whatever like that. Then I'm like, yo, they're Americans. It should be no fucking language barrier. Like she understands what the fuck I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So then <laughs> Jermaine come up as you know, there's a lot of people, you know, all these people in uniform and shit like that. But I didn't give a fuck. So I'm sitting there trying to argue, I was like, listen, just give me sweet tea and say, man, say, sir, we don't have sweet tea. We never had sweet tea here. And I was like, Okay, so where can I get it? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then it was like, Well, we don't have that here. And I was just like that doesn't answer my question, but thank that you. My question. So I was like, all right, give me my money back, right? Give me my dollar or whatever it is, a dollar or six back for the damn drink, and you can have the damn drink, all right? So I took it, and I left. Ever since then, they was like, oh, why'd you do that? Like, it's, it's whatever. It was only a dollar. It's not. It's point. my dollar. It's, it's the point. principle. You're going to sit there and lie to me when I, obviously, when I say it's sweet tea, I didn't say, with a, let me get a large peach tea. I said, let me get a large sweet tea. Yeah, no. Like, come on. Yeah, my my mama had a similar experience recently at um fucking I think it was I think it was McDonald's too. And you know, they asked her if she wanted to donate to whatever children something something and she yeah. was like, No, thank you. Like the roundup. Do you want to round up to yeah. the next and donate mm -hmm. whatever? She said no. And the lady looked at her like, Really? And she's like, Well, you don't give me my money? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's just 70 cents and you give it to them. This thank you. <laughs> the fuck you mean? Yeah for me don't do that i'm I'm type of dude like i remember that time i'm like my old spot uh with a domino and it was like the indian dude come up there i don't know what it is with any people like when you talk to them on the phone or in person they just bold you know what i'm saying like they need to calm down you know what i'm saying saying you talk to your people they need to calm down <laughs> they need to calm down for real so anyway dude come up now i know people like the whole little joke is black people don't like tip me whatever like that you know what I'm saying? You don't ever know what a person's going through. Maybe that's all their money. They only had enough to just get that. Right. Money. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that that's the case going on here. I just know I hate that assumption. So he get up. He come up. He already like he had a rough day. He had the receipt on his forehead, whatever. So, no, he did have a receipt on his forehead. He come up to get the food, whatever. My brother handed to it. I handed it his brother's friend. So, I'm like, here you go. So he's like, tip, tip, tip. Now, I ain't get a chance to fully turn 360 back to the door, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's like, Tip, 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 tip. So I, I get mad. So I was just like, Wait, he he asked you for a tip? Yeah, he said tip, right tip, now. tip. So I'm handing, I'm handing, I'm handing my brother the joint. He hands to his friend. So I'm turning around. He's like, tip, 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 tip. So his friend turned around and stopped. He's just looking and kind of nervous. So I opened the door a little bit more. I was like, Nah, bro, nah. Uh -uh. Takes a receipt, smacked his forehead, and just walked off. I was like, Damn, uh -uh. can you give me a chance at least turn around first? You know what I'm saying? First of all, just give me the opportunity to even make the attempt to at least try to close the door and move my arm in that direction of the door. And I'm like, I'm just turning around. I'm just handing it off. You gotta go get some more. You know what I'm saying? Like, tip, 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 tip. I look, I went to I went to lunch one time at the Ruby Tuesdays by Pearl Harbor with one of my friends, and she she was a server. But our server was awful. She didn't bring us no silverware. It was like 20, 30 minutes before we got water. Like it didn't make any sense. I was like, I'm not giving her a tip. And she was like, No, don't do that because it's you know it's tough. Look, baby, no. 
If you don't give me good service, I'm not going to tip you. Now, if you are giving me good service, even this, if this, or even if the service is okay, but it is super busy, I get it. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I understand. I'm not the only person here. I'm not an asshole. Right. But when you don't do the bare minimum, I'm not giving you a goddamn fucking thing. You're going to get the money that is for the food I bought. Because you don't have to be a server. I understand, you know, it's flexible. And that's why servers work because it's tip. I understand you make under minimum wage. That's a risk I'm not willing to take with my check, which is why I've never been a server. You know, I that, need to know what my tax is going to be. You know what I equate that to? And I'm so glad you bring it up. You know what that sounds familiar with? Like, mm-hmm. very similar to? You know how, like, so, like conservatives believe, like, oh, I don't like how the government gets involved or anything. I don't like the whole fact that you got people sitting, living off welfare while I'm working hard and da-da-da for my mm-hmm. hard-earned tax money. You know what I'm saying? But these same people believe, like, hey, you should tip somebody because they're a waitress. That's a job that you chose. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you chose that job. You knew how much you was going to get paid. So why don't you go into something where you literally need, you're banking all tips to survive. Like, you know what right. I'm saying? And then, and then you hear people be like, well, if you can't, know you can't afford to tip, then maybe you shouldn't go out to eat. No, I'm good because it's not required. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. What the fuck do you mean? Yeah. No, I'm going to out to eat because I'm too lazy to cook. I ain't got nothing to do with your job. Yeah, yeah, everything to do with my stomach. It has nothing to do with your, your rent, whatever, stuff like that. It's the same way if we were like, if like they had a business and their employees wasn't doing what they were supposed to do, they should get paid. Shocking. Right. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like it's the same concept. People just don't want to see it that way. And I was like, that's the reason why I think I couldn't be all the way conservative. Like it, I have some conservative views, obviously, but it's mm-hmm. like I can't be all the way over there on that because that's like I can see the other side and be like, yo, that makes a lot of sense. So that's very similar to this, to what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? And what these people over here are saying, like. You found the best of both. Y'all saying all the same shit in in different ways, yo, like, for real, for real. Like, it's just crazy. And people, oh, you know, it's funny. That's because we do do it. ain't because of that. Well, it helps me. I pay attention a lot more and pay attention to shit, hang on to shit a lot more. But it ain't because they ain't, like, limitless pain. Like, you just be like, it's not. I just sit back and watch y'all motherfuckers and see a lot of similarities and just be like, y'all saying the same shit. I wish that was a real pill, though. Nah. Dude. Nah. But without the side effects. Without the side effects. effects. I'm just saying, do you want human beings with access to limitless everything, unlocking everything? Look what we're doing but now. But if you think now, about it. We got algorithms but, that's controlling what we, what we <laughs> literally what we watch, what we do, what we eat, what we're, what we're going to indulge right now. I want to see, okay, see. But listen, if, if everybody was on the same level, if you think about it, a lot of the um, the separation and everything that goes on like in humanity is because we're all on different playing fields we all get different information Mm -hmm. there's like you know and that's just taking out the human factor of how you were raised and stuff that all these variables that don't count but if everybody was on the same level and everybody knew all the information and everything you know it might be a little better or it might be worse it's a 50 50 chance i think that's the original goal of the internet i think the internet was to provide the information to the people but then people got stupid and stopped yeah. looking. They got corrupted too. Yeah. But like it'd be shit that can actually help us, but it's on the dark web with all the pedophilia and all the bad shit. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's really like the world is a dark, sick place. You know what I'm saying? But it really is. It just feel like I feel like it shouldn't. I do think we still need the dark web. Like I say, we need the Candace Owens. We need the Hodgkins. You got to have Superman. You got to have Lex Luthor. It has to happen. Batman and Joker. It has to happen. That's the only way you can have true balance. It's a yin or yang. Yeah, you got to know what's the extreme over here and what's the extreme over there. Like, <clears throat> regardless yeah, speaking how you of extreme about- and nonsense, oh, I saw this ridiculous fucking post oh, online. No, nah, man, about Breonna Taylor talking oh. about the only person, the person who's responsible for Breonna Taylor's death was Breonna Taylor because she knew she was with a drug lord, drug dealer. She knew she was sleeping next to a drug dealer. She knew she. I was like, what the fuck. Um, like it was it was it was her fault for making bad decisions in life and hanging out with people who would be raided by the cops and then resulting in her death like it was so ridiculous what's the person they looking for her ex-boyfriend and ex-boyfriend oh it's not it was someone that they thought that lived there and the dude was already caught Hmm. and the only reason they thought that was his house because the post the post general whatever he is the dude that's postmaster general postmaster general 
mm-hmm. said, yeah, he received package in that location before, but in reality, he never received nothing. Uh, and he signed off on it anyways. Damn. And don't even get but me started on the district they got, attorney that was his house. pruning ass. But See, the boy, thing, like, why can't he just admit that though, yo? Why can't he just be like, yo, we fucked up? Like, right. right. We fucked up. This is up. not the time to sow yeah. more distrust in law enforcement. Yeah, and that's yo. where I, there was, that's where I'm at right now. I was talking to my neighbor um the other day. Now she knows he is fucked. And I appreciate that because all her shit is here and we're not here. She always goes, Who who over there? Who over there? You know, and she let us know every time we come over. I saw three people ride their bike in front of the house, stop for 10 seconds. Like, thank you for that. Black lady. And she and so funny because her husband is Japanese and black and grew up in Hawaii. I was like, hey, what's up? Anyway, small world. But um, no, she was like, no, do we need to call the police for this? Do we need to call the police for that? And I'm just thinking like, why? Why? Like, I, I especially Zion police, something really bad would have to happen for me to want to call the Zion police. I don't, I don't trust, I don't trust the police. I don't trust the police. I just don't. I don't. And it's not because of, I, I haven't trusted the police for a long time. Since I was twelve year old and a poli- twelve years old and a police officer picked me up and threw me <laughs> against a glass door. I I I I I don't I don't fuck with cops. Shit. The cops I on my not. dad's side of the family is like we're like the Hatfields and McCoys. <laughs> like like <laughs> Celtics. No. Yo, have you heard about that one? Um oh shit. I was just oh, that's not funny, but it is in so many ways. It's called the uh. Clear View or something. Basically, it's a database compiled of law enforcement people's public <coughs> social media posts. And it's a database of all their social media posts in the comments and everything that are by law enforcement, former or most of them are current. And the way they talk about people is just so fucked up. Yeah. The way they incite violence, talk about running over protesters. And these people were supposed to protect you. Like, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. I don't, I don't get it either. That's why I said a few episodes ago, like cops should have a psychological exam every year because I think that's how they pretty got much it, what's going on. If they got it with um mm-hmm. your homeboy, the cop that came on the show. Yeah, Luciano. Yeah. Luciano. Like I think it's I think his every department should be ran like that. Word. I, I think that's a perfect example because you work for us. You work for the community. Why not be a part of the community? Why not, you know what I'm saying? And be open and honest with the situations and be like, listen, like at the end of the day, we're all human beings, bro. Like he said, I'm black first before anything. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what gives me hope. That's why I'm like, yo, like he's a cop and he understands that. So I know he's affecting whoever, because he's going to be a senior cop and he's going to be training cops. That's future cops now. That I know that's going to be right. going to be on straight. And that's just what that's what up. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> I just, I wish yeah. I was, and I feel like a lot of people understand it. I just feel like some people, like, a lot of them are so scared to say it. It's like, But I don't know why. Like, what's the hang-up? Like, wrong is wrong, right? Yeah, yeah. right. I just don't get it. Like, and that's uh, that's why I don't and that's why I don't understand either. And, like, and honestly, when people say, we'll talk about police officers, and they go, they're here to protect us and keep us safe. They're heroes. In my experience, I have yet to encounter a police officer who's a hero, straight up. I see police officers after the fact that shit happened. Motherfuckers ain't walking around patrolling and doing shit. Like, I, I don't see that in my life, in my lifetime growing up. The cops show up after shit happens. They stop you for no reason. And they kill your cousins. Like, that's my experience with police officers. Word. So Word. when people say, you know, oh, yeah, you know, they, they protect us. I'm sorry? What? What do you mean? And that makes me wonder, because they're usually white people. It makes me wonder... Are police like really going into white neighborhoods and being like, stop in the name of the law. I will protect you, lady. You know what I mean? Like the experience has to be different. It has to be. Or they just drinking the Kool-Aid and, you know, saying what they think should be happening. And I'm not sure which one it is. You know, what's interesting was um, for Hood, despite all the crazy shit that goes on there, like Mm -hmm. when you're transitioning out of the army or whatever, like they have the best programs and shit in place they hold so many fucking events that like they molded me to in the direction i'm going to today you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. was, <clears throat> like no cap that was probably the best thing like all the time i've been in the army eight and a half years whatever that that two weeks whatever they had that shit going on was like some of the best time like the most information like knowledge like that gave me the confidence and knowledge to be like all right let's go i can do this now like we really do this let's do this podcast shit let's do this labor shit like go um but <clears throat> I was talking, you know, I had like the conventions with all these jobs. That's when I went to apply for the CIA. I was going, back in 2017, I was going to like try to be like a 
the black Jason Bourne and shit. Like I was Secret really agent man. Yeah, I was, I was really because I was talking to the dude. You know, it was like a real legit thing. It's like this big job thing they come to, like federal jobs and shit, and uh, state jobs. <clears throat> and so obviously the police were there, whatever. And I was talking to this one uh, little small police station guy. He was just there as a like him and his uh, sergeant, and um, they were there. And he was just like, "Yeah, you want to come over here?" And, like, and everybody was all huddled up trying to get all these paperwork from him and stuff. And I was like, why are you trying to be like the DFW and stuff like that or working in Dallas and stuff like that, working all these bad neighborhoods? And I was like, nah, bro, it's way easier just, just to go over here at the small place because guess what? You know, it's going to be easy promotions. You know, we ain't got to do much. You know, we can go out there. Like the most be like, you got to get a cat out of a tree and stuff like that. And we ain't got to go out there and be out there, no violence, putting your life on the line every day. And I was like, well, y'all understand, like, if you don't have the less presence there is in those neighborhoods, the more violence is going to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, why not go there and be a beacon of light, bro? Like, I would want to go there because, and then outside, it just is a, even if you're selfish and think about money-wise, promotion-wise, you don't think if you go to a bad community and turn it around or do your best you can on your own that you're that's, not going to That's even better. That's going to shoot you up the ladder. Because they be all oh, right. right. He's the top cop in L.A. and, and fucking Crenshaw, yo. Like he held down, you know what I'm saying? He been, he would do all this and turn it around, you know. He should be a captain, you know what I'm saying? He should be have a chief, you know what I'm saying? And well, he should be a detective, you know. He knows what he's doing. Right. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. But you're going to here, you playing the safe route because you know, like push gonna shove. At least I know I'm gonna get paid some pension. Mm -hmm. I just gotta do like another 10, 15 years to do this. I've already been in the army for 10 years. I was like, come on, bro. Do you know what I thought about the other day? I was thinking about, you know, just police officers and how, you know, like like what I was saying as far as, like, you know, being heroes and blah, blah, blah. But I feel like the main purpose of police officers, because obviously you can't be, you, it's just a stroke of luck or investigation powers that helps you be at a place before a crime is committed. So I feel like the main purpose of police officers should be to keep peace. And I was like, peacekeepers. I was like, shit, that's what they called the people in, in Hunger Games, peacekeepers that came and killed all the people. I was like, that's mm -hmm. fucked up. So it's just like, what what's happening? Like, I don't, the, the system is such a monster. I honestly don't uh, think things are going to change. Before we get any any further, let's start the podcast. Then. Word, right. word, word. Yeah, he's right. trying to get some I got you, bro. I got this. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Wait, wait, wait. I'm high. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I completely Three, two, lost. 12? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Three, two, six. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready, ready. But yeah, oh, that'd be hard. That'll work. That will work. <laughs>